Yes. Uh huh. He had three sons. What was named Theodore? <laughs> yeah. What was named Vasily? <laughs> and his other son's name was Ivan. Speak, but words wouldn't come out. 
So he showed the king the song. The king looked at the song. He looked at Ivan. He looked at the song. He looked at Ivan. He looked at the song. He looked at Ivan, and he thought it was just the sand that was around the island. And he told Ivan. Ivan was heartbroken. The princess, she was already in love, in love with Ivan, and she said, <laughs> the king wasn't happy with that, so he sent Ivan on his way. And the king left. There Ivan stood, right outside the castle. Just then, the cook decided it was time to go on a break. I need to go pick up my son. I'm hungry. I'm going to go home to have a pet. I'm going to get my pet. They all left the kitchen. Ivan walked into the kitchen. He smelled the food. He tasted it. He looked at the salt. He looked at the pot. He looked at the salt. He looked at the pot. He knew exactly what it needed, so he put in the little salt. He tasted it, and it was better. He went to the next pot. He smelled that one, too. He tasted it. He looked at the salt. He looked at the pot. He looked at the salt. He looked at the pot. He put in just the right amount of salt, and he tasted it, and it was better. He went to the last one. He smelled it. He tasted it. He looked at the salt. He looked at the pot. He looked at the salt. And he was about to put it in when the chef started coming back. I didn't need somewhere to hide, so we went and hide in front of the table. The chefs came back. Something was different about their food. They looked deep into their pots. They looked at each other. They looked at their food. They looked at each other. They looked at their food. They looked at each other. And they thought they saw Ivan under the table. But before they could do anything, the king came out and called for his dinner. And the chef and the chefs brought the food and they presented it to the king. And they gave it to Ivan. The cooks rolled the kitchen with the salt out. And Ivan was now a rich man. Ivan walked to his boat. 
And he was so happy, he began to sing. When the princess heard him singing, she ran to him and said, And then she asked Ivan. She wanted Ivan to marry her, so she asked Ivan. Ivan said. The king came over. The king went over, and he gave his blessing. And the king went back to the castle. And Ivan and the princess set sail. But the princess wasn't a very good sailor either. And they sailed off. And after a while, they went, after they were sailing for a couple of days, they caught up with Theodore and the sea. And of course, Theodore and Vasily, they didn't do as well as I did. When Theodore saw the princess, he said, and he jumped on Ivan's boat. When Vasily saw the gold and silver, he said, and he jumped on the boat. Ivan was happy to see his brothers. He said to them, but the brothers, they had other plans. Vasily took the gold and silver, and the brothers threw Ivan off his boat. Just push him. <laughs> and they threw him off his boat. And Vasily took the gold and silver, and he sailed away. <laughs> The sea took in the gold and silver and he sailed away. And Theodore took the princess and he sailed away too. <laughs> Ivan stood there holding his bag of gold and silver. 
the king, the cook, the princess, all of them left. And there Ivan was, holding his bag of gold and silver. His brothers came out, and Ivan started talking to them. You know, that's his dad that got me. And as soon as he said giant, the giant appeared. The brothers, of course, when the giant saw Ivan, he wasn't very happy. He asked Ivan, Why are you talking about me? I was walking for Hassan. What is it about me? It's the flower of Africa. It's the flower of Africa. And the giant joined in with him. <laughs> 